let's talk about results a bit. When we think results, we're thinking something quantitative, right? It's got to be have a numerical value, probably. What other ways can we storytell the results that we created or led in an organization to really make it believable and authentic to the listener? Okay, so the answer is yes in terms of results. We want to have them be qualitative whenever possible because the other question they're asking themselves is how can you help me with my top line or bottom line of my organization? So having um, dollars, having percentages of improvements or those kinds of things, all of that is very relevant and important. If I think of, a, again, a, an example where one of this person's um, value themes or part of his value proposition was um, a balance of having technology and business skills and felt that one thing he was really good at doing was being able to translate technology into business results and business language so that his internal clients could understand and follow. So a specific example of, I should say, that's all well and fine, but that's very theoretical, very general to say, I'm really good at IT and business and those kinds of things. So on his resume, there was an example of an accomplishment of improved, I don't remember, downtime by 30% and saved X amount of dollars, whatever it was. But what we don't know is how that came to be. So if we talk about it from a star perspective, when he, the situation was when he first joined the bank and went into that position, he was asked by his boss to meet with the various departments, one, to get to know them, but two, to talk about what they could do in order to um, save time and save money and so forth. So he uh, met with each of the department heads. He used, this is the action component, he used um, a dashboard, so red, yellow, green, in terms that they could understand of how to monitor and how to look at things. In addition to the result that they achieved, though, on paper, he was invited by several departments to regularly attend their monthly meetings to review their dashboards and to give them um, feedback or ideas on what else they could do to continually improve. So that's the full story of not only the tangible results, but also the intangibles. He built relationships, he built his credibility, they saw him as part of an extension of the team, as someone that would help them, and so forth. So those are the ways that you can bring those other elements into play. Mm -hmm. So just to challenge this a bit, because I'm with you, but realistically, if I am a senior level person among dozens more who are vying for that role, I'm bound to bring results to the interview. I'm bound to be able to talk about the team I led, built, the culture and the health of the organization that I contribute to building. I guess my question is, what are some of the nuances, the things that in the end, we need to be mindful of as candidates that will separate us from people who really look like us, at least on paper. They've done our job, they've generated results for their organizations, they're fairly personable. What are some of the, X factors, if I can call on that, that we need to be thinking about and really hone so that when we are in that situation, we truly stand out from others who are pretty close seconds, right? Right. Well, part of that is certainly we have found is that personal element, that personal story to really tell them about you um, because I don't remember as an example, all of the details and even some of the organization names or countries of that story I told you well, about the artist, if you will, because it's been, I don't know, five or so years ago, but I will always remember that story and how he approached 
just presenting himself and what we worked on. And that's the same thing in an interview. Um, once you're putting candidates side by side, a lot of the details of their experiences and their approach are going to be very similar. So it's what impression can you make? What will help you stand out and stand apart? What do you value? Which comes through um, in part of the stories that you tell and do your values and your approach align with that organization? Chances are, if the answer is no, you aren't going to be successful or happy in that organization or that position anyway. So the more you can share about yourself and, and add those little themes or tidbits, if you will, then the more direct connection and possibilities you will have. 